He's suave. Debonair. So courageous. The epitome of cool. You rule. His name is Zoolander. Derek Zoolander. He's almost too good looking. International male supermodel. The style and the hair, you know, it's almost like the new afro for the white man. But behind those eyes yeah! is a highly trained man of action. You rock. No, you rock. And perhaps the world's only hope of stopping a sinister assassination plot. The fashion industry has been behind every major political assassination over the last 200 years. And behind every hit, a male model. So why male models? They do as they're told. That is not true. Yes, it is, Derek. OK. Ben Stiller. Oh! 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 Owen Wilson. Will Ferrell. They're breakdance fighting. Taste my pain! Christine Taylor. When I was in seventh grade, I became bulimic. You can read minds. Zoolander. Must be eliminated. No! They must use all their skills. If I can create a basic disguise for us with this professional makeup kit, we may just be able to sneak in undetected. Surprise! Did you find the files? They're in the computer. They're in the computer? To outsmart the most dangerous organization on the planet. We got 30 years worth of files right here in this computer that are going to bring you down. Woo! Yeah! Oh, no. Where'd all the files go? And still find time to help the children. I give you the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. Is this a center for ants? How can children learn how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? Zoolander. You know that friend of yours, the African prince? I absolutely have never had a friend who's an African prince. Yes, we met him at that party. Andre. You can be aristocratic without having been born into an aristocratic family. I became familiar with Andre Leontal through Vogue magazine. He's like a black superhero. They give a nod to the guy. But you're giving us a futuristic James Brown moment on the shoulders. He's like the Nelson Mandela of couture, the Kofi Annan of what you got on. <laughs> His bombastic <laughs> personality. Oh, this is a look. Gave people energy themselves and to take risks. Why are you being so low key? When Andre tosses out all these different words, a lot of people think, oh my God, this guy is crazy. People's hands went He was so many things he wasn't supposed to be, and they couldn't get around it. Fashion should have more swatter But why don't we see it on the street? But darling, it depends on what street you're walking on ah. and going down at what time of day. All of my relatives had style. Even though they didn't have much, he saw the luxury his grandmother created. In the South, going to church was the most important thing in life. And it was a fashion show. He was outstanding and stood out because of his height, because of his mannerisms. A bunch of white boys, a duke, decided to throw rocks at me because I was walking the campus. People have said many bad things about me. They used to call me Queen Kong. I was like an ape. I was a gay ape Queen Kong. But I had to move on. I had to get on with my career. This is Andre Leon Taylor reporting live from Paris. Tu crois que vraiment tu es monsieur qui fait son métier? I think it was the first time they'd ever seen a black man in Paris at the fashion show in a position of importance and influence. He was like the black rock hat. Person, 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 what? Person, 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 person. He's the what? You don't get up and say, look, I'm black and I'm proud. You just do it. And somehow it impacts the culture. What moves him is that idea of, like, just do it, think it, wear it. There is no hesitation. She's got to wear this out today. Whoa, 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 whoa. He is making such a statement about the value of black life. It is an affirmation. His career allowed him to say, I showed you. I can be what I said I want to be. designs changed the world of fashion, and the empire she built still bears her name, but before she was Chanel.
she was Coco. J'ai perdu mon pauvre Coco, Coco mon chien que j'adore. Pour Coco. Trocadéro, il est loin, il court encore. Si, j'aime bien. Sinon, par ça, il plaît. Il est moins abruti que les autres. Et lui, il a des relations. C'est l'heure où les amis se disent au revoir. Bonne chance, Coco. Qu'est-ce que tu viens faire ici remettre dans le train quand elle en était encore temps. Que madame veut des robes sans corset, des chapeaux sans plumes. Vas-y, coucou. Ça tombe bête, c'est juste l'empreinte de jour. Qu'est-ce que je vais faire sans toi T'es jaloux Affreusement, ouais. Toutes les femmes te regardent. Toutes les femmes te regardent, toi. I'm with the internationally renowned editor-in-chief of American Vogue, Anna Wintour. The single most important figure in the $300 billion global fashion industry. She is watched more closely than the movie stars or the runway. Oh, no. Anna, Anna. You are so influential with the designers. If we get behind something, it sells. Because of Anna. Oh my god, Anna is like Madonna. Anna, look. It's gorgeous. I personally would not put this one in the show. The other things you've shown us are more exciting. Excuse me. This tight seems so large and pretentious. It looks like it's for blind people. There is something about fashion that can make people very nervous. One in 10 American women, almost 13 million people will get a September issue of Vogue. September is the January in fashion. This is amazing. <laughs> well, do mention it to Anna, it's because she's bad. killed half of it. I'm not crazy about this one. This I don't think we should do. These are all horrible. She looks pregnant. She looks really? cheap to me. Look! No. You know what? It's a famine of beauty. It's a famine of beauty, honey. He says he didn't do the Colosseum dress. He says he didn't like it, so they didn't do it. Everything you touch, you don't What are we supposed to do with feathers this fall? Just to wear them. <laughs> I think my father really decided for me that I should work in fashion. And he said, well, you want to be editor of Vogue? Of course. So that, that was it. It was decided. There's a glamour. Um, it's Vogue, OK? <laughs> Please, let's lift it. Lift it. Fashion's not about looking back. It's always about looking forward. Yeah, we really feel that this is the most important message to put in a September issue. That's I, I important. I loved it. I thought it was pretty. Here. Last season, the fashion world slammed his collection. Isaac Mizrahi's show was a mess. Don't show these things to me. Now, to make his comeback, he's hired the best talent in the business for the fashion event of the year. I'm not that stressed out. We have a very big day tomorrow. I hate when people tell me I'm stressed out. Let's go, let's go! When the music comes on... 
and the stars come out. What happens on stage is almost as outrageous as what's going on backstage. It has to be the most wonderful 20 minutes of a designer's life. Oh, Naomi, that's coming out. And there are girls changing from behind the screen, so you can see through. See us in bras and underwear? Maybe. Are they going to want to do that? No. 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 We really do see everything. Oh, yes. You show me the pose and I'll All right. It's the movie the New York Times proclaims hilarious. <laughs> and Entertainment Weekly calls wickedly funny. Ah! Take an undercover peek behind the scenes. That thing is in my face all the time, sweetie. And behind the screens. Wait a minute, wait a minute. At the most beautiful women in the world. Get it, baby. In the film Rolling Stone calls the best party movie of the year. The Wild. <laughs> Weird. I think under my skirt. Wonderful world of fashion. You just made you. fashion history. <laughs> Unzipped. Is it worth it? It's always worth it. Even when it sucks, it's worth it. Okay, Benjamin, I'm gonna ask you one of our more telling questions for all of our interns, so I want you to like, this is the one to really think about, okay? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? When I'm 80. And I love myself. Remember a few weeks ago, we talked about the senior intern program? Seniors in high school or college? No, 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 no. Seniors in life. Hold on. What? That's our founder and CEO, Jules Austin. Any tips before I go in? Blink. Blink. She hates when people don't blink. It weirds her out. Hi, Jules. I'm Ben, your new intern. I'm glad you also see the humor in this. Be hard not to. I will email you when I have something for you to do. I'll wait to hear from you, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Excuse me. So you're Jules' new driver? No, actually, I'm her intern. That's hysterical. My intern sure keeps busy. Mr. Congeniality. Everybody loves him. You should dress to impress. Tuck in the shirt. Why doesn't anybody tuck anything in anymore? Oh, I'm asking you. I'm Fiona, the house masseuse. Thank you. <sighs> How's that been? Well, it's that, that, oh, boy. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're not as old as I thought you were. <laughs> So you're on Facebook, huh? Well, I joined about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> well, better late than never. All right, so there are all these questions for your profile that you can answer if you want to, like people who inspire you. Jules Austin. <sighs> you do inspire Jules. Don't wanna sleep. Our investors just think that a seasoned CEO could take some things off your plate. I mean, give me CEO lessons. I never had anything like this in my life. This big, beautiful, exciting thing that you created. Remember who did that? Who? Oh. Good times. <laughs> it's moments like this when you need someone you know you can count on. Because you're my... Intern. Well, I was gonna say intern slash best friend. Look and learn, boys, because this is what cool is. How in one generation have men gone from guys like Jack Nicholson and Harrison Ford to... Oh, boy. Got pants in pocket. Got battle. I am gonna use it. Intention. Restlessness approached hysteria. Shall we? Your love. 
Who is this Gatsby? Do you know him? War hero. Mr. Gatsby doesn't exist. Gatsby? What Gatsby? I beg your pardon. Mr. Gatsby would like to speak to you. Alone. I'm certainly glad to see you again. I'm certainly glad to see you as well. When I made the pleasure of Mr. Gatsby's acquaintance, I discovered a man of fine breeding. Very interesting. Everything all right? Oh, yes. Love is blindness. I don't want to see. Won't you wrap the night? You always look so cool. The man in the cool, beautiful shirt. to tell him she never loved him. I've just heard the most shocking thing. It all makes sense. Will you come once more? We need you. I wish we could just run away. Mr. Gatsby, sir. Not now. Love is blindness. I don't want to see what you have to Kind of a row. Are you trying to cause in my house? I wish I'd done everything on earth with you. Is that Myrtle Dunnage? You grew up. You got old. Myrtle Dunnage is back. I haven't seen her since she was a kid. I wonder how she turned out. <laughs> She's back! Mum, I need to remember the truth. They say that she killed a boy. So where did she go from here? I worked in London. Milan. In Paris. As a designer. I reckon you came home for one of two things. Revenge or me. You can transform people. That's very powerful. Use it. Gertrude Pratt. The dance is Saturday night. I could make you something. A dress can't change anything. Watch and learn, Gert. Watch and learn. <gasps> I can make you the most striking girl in the room. Take your clothes off. A murderer. And a lesbian. Who is that? Stunning. I'd like to order some day wear. Is that Dior? I remember that day. She saw the whole thing. I think Tilly understands my particular body shape. She certainly does. Go on, make them their dresses. Make them think they're classy. They'll still hate you. She murdered him. She's cursed. They'll never forgive me. Why didn't you tell me? You're wasted here. I think we should run away together. This is just a pack of lies! I'm back, you bastards. <laughs> Stop her, charger! With what? Sitting? You could be married in this suit. Snapped up by some eligible spinster or hag. Trousers off too? Yes. No. Miranda Priestley is the editor-in-chief of Runway. So you don't read Runway? No. Not to mention a legend. And before today, you'd never heard of me? No. You work a year for her, and you can get a job at any magazine you want. You have no style or sense of fashion. I, I... No, no. That wasn't a question. You got a job at a fashion magazine? Yes. Yeah. What, was it a phone interview? Who is that? Are we doing a before and after piece I don't know about? <laughs> in the world of high fashion. There you are, Emily. Actually, it's Andy. My name is Andy. A million girls would kill for this job. Is there some reason that my coffee isn't here? Did she go to Rwanda for the beans or something? Where so much is at stake. I need 10 or 15 skirts. The pie! The pie! Hello? Where are my eggs? Lingerie. She is vicious. Andy 
Katie Sachs is about to discover. She hates me, Nigel. There's a way that you can help me. Little Chris go on some fishing line and we're in business. It's not just about what you wear. What do you think? <laughs> Andy, you look so chic. You look so thin. Do I? Just one stomach flew away from my gold weight. It's about who you are. Nate. I got it. Let me talk to her. No, 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 I'm leaving right now. Do you know why I hired you? I see a great deal of myself in you. The person whose calls you always take, that's the relationship you're in. Let me know when your whole life goes up in smoke. When is it time for a promotion? People think that success just happens to you. It doesn't. You want this life? The decision's yours. The Devil Wears Prada.